to start off the new year the right way. Pop in some bubbly. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can do <laughs> it without go, just Steve. getting a mess. Are we okay? oh, oh, look at beautiful. that. Beautiful. <gasps> there we go. Beautiful. It's because it's cheap. That's probably well, why. Well, or you've That's, done it before. Maybe a couple <laughs> times. <laughs> Once or twice. Happy New Year. Happy How are new you? Happy New Year. Yeah. Sometimes uh, our audience knows your inbox gets flooded with uh, this amazing thing. Or Facebook. The science thing happens on Facebook. So my uh, messenger blew up a couple days ago because the Today Show had reported that after you open up the champagne and you enjoy some champagne, that the rest of the champagne in the bottle goes flat. And so in order to keep the bubbly in the champagne, guess what they're supposed to do? You're supposed to drop a raisin in the champagne and it's supposed to recarbonate the champagne. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said too. Isn't it amazing how science sometimes messes us up a little bit? Right. And, uh, and uh, the science doesn't mess us up, but that whole idea of dropping uh, a raisin into the champagne, does that really work? So I wanted to show you a couple of things. I wanted to show you how all champagne glasses yeah. are not exactly the same. And I want to show you how to control the bubbles a little bit. First of all, how do they get the bubbles inside? Those are bubbles of, what is that? Carbonation. 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 Carbonation, carbon dioxide, okay, I was gonna right? I say, those yeah. are champagne bubbles. Yeah, those are champagne, <laughs> like, that's are very good. That's, that's right, so uh, those are bubbles of carbon dioxide. So in order to get the carbon dioxide into the liquid, they had to infuse it uh, with carbon dioxide. So this was under okay. a tremendous amount of pressure, just like a can of soda. Sure. So if you were to take a can of soda, here, take that and shake it, no one open it, just shake it up like this. Uh, you can actually feel the sides really, really hard, right? Yes. So yeah. the carbonation oh, is yeah. coming out. You don't want to open it up no, now. Obviously. It'll explode. Yeah. We'll leave that to the very end. So look at this. If you take a look at the, uh, not every champagne glass is the same, you'll right. notice that the bubbles come up from very particular areas in the champagne glass. That's because there's little um, imperfections inside that are etched in the glass, sometimes okay. by accident. They can control it on purpose. So if you had Waterford Crystal, I went to my cabinet to get some Waterford okay. Crystal, but mm -hmm. I had to move away the Dixie Cups, and then there wasn't any Waterford Crystal. Uh, yeah. So this is the cheapest stuff I could find. You'll see that, in Waterford Crystal, they actually etch the bottom with a laser so that four equal columns of bubbles come up. So you can actually control the bubbles, oh my believe goodness, it or not. Yeah. Yeah. When you so kind of watch what happens if we try to drop raisins into any of those. So if I take these and I put them here so that you can see them all. If you drop raisins in here, any imperfection that you put into a bubbling drink causes the carbon dioxide to come out. So there's no way that it recarbonates it. You can't no. add carbon dioxide. But look at what it does here. You actually get this dancing raisin effect. So notice how the raisins yeah. will yes. now have carbon okay. dioxide around the bubbles. They'll lift up and come back down again. So unfortunately, I think there are a lot of people that might have dropped a couple raisins into the bottle and it did absolutely, absolutely nothing. nothing. So it's bad science, fake science. Uh, bad, bad science. But I think it's really cool that certain that you can control something as silly as the bubbles by simply just etching a little imperfection inside there and controlling how the bubbles come up and down. So Kim and I are going to have a party and we're going to be like, hey, put some raisins in your glass. People are like, these girls are crazy. These girls yeah. are crazy. <laughs> and they dance. They come up and down. But if you're going to do the party, then you've got to do the last thing. Ready? Take your can like this. Shake it. No, no, no. Shake it up. Shake it up. Come on. Shake okay. Come on. And now, believe it or not, you can pop it open if you can control the bubbles. Right, right now, you took the bubbles out and all around the outside edges, those bubbles have hooked just like under the glass that you see here. So you never take Tap the top. No. Nope. Never tap. Always do what? Tap the side. You got it. Snap the side. So do it all the way around. Just snap it. It's okay. You're now moving the bubbles to the very top. So now, believe it or not, you're controlling the bubbles. <gasps> we should be able to pop I it open. Know, Put your fingers here. I'm Ready? Nervous. Put your finger on top. Ready? Three, two, one. Pop it open. It's all good. There it is. <gasps> you did it. You shook it up. Oh you controlled it. And you did not lose any of that carbonation at all. Okay. Not a great one. All Do right. not put raisins no in raisins. the champagne. Thank you want to keep you. your champagne good? Keep it cold. That's, Keep it cold. That's, the, right. that's, that's the, the secret. Cheers to 2018. Cheers to 2018. Here you go. Cheers. Happy New Year. 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 Raisins. Raisins. With our raisins. So I can't use